I'm Jessica Cartaglia with your evening digital news brief for Tuesday, October 15th. A new clue in the search for Dulce Maria Alaves. It's been more than four weeks since she went missing and now a sketch the police want you to see. The Cumberland County Prosecutor's Office believes the person in the sketch is not considered a suspect or a person of interest, just a possible witness that they would like to speak with. The man is reported to be five foot seven with a slender build. Dulce disappeared while playing with her little brother at a playground at the Bridgeton City Park. A Philadelphia mother could be facing murder charges. Police say that she admitted to killing her two children and estranged husband. Police say that the mother also turned the gun on herself, but the gunshot wound did not kill her. The victims are a four-year-old girl, a 10-month-old girl, and a 35-year-old man. The woman is still in the hospital in critical condition, but she is expected to be charged in the deaths. Philadelphia police say that they are on guard in Mayfair after a large group of juveniles caused major disruptions last night. Chopper 3 was over the Boulevard and Pratt Street. Police say that the crowd came from the Rolling Thunder Skating Park about two miles away. A Wawa and a McDonald's closed because of the crowd. Four teenagers were arrested and no one was injured. Tonight, more honors for the Patco High Speed Line. This year, the transit system is celebrating its golden anniversary. Today, Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney presented a ceremonial Liberty Bell to Patco officials in recognition of Patco's 50 years of service. I would assume at the 15th 16th station. The speed line is a critical lifeline connecting Camden County, New Jersey to Philadelphia. It carries more than 10 million passengers every year. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Jessica Cartaglia.